Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we will see how we can able to fill the gaps in Landsat 7 imagery which is caused by scanline error. Okay, if you will see here some scanline error you can able to see here. Okay, if you will check the website also when you will download the Landsat 7 imagery that time you will able to see this type of scanline errors. Okay, so what we have to do we have to fill the gap for this scanline error and we have to remove this scanline error. Okay. So if you'll go to Google and search about it, so you'll see the Landsat 7 has been experienced a scanline error since 2003. Okay. So May 31st, 2003, when its scanline corrector failed permanently, causing gap in the image reduced scanning pattern. This means any data collected after this date will show the scanline error. Okay. So same scanline error you can able to see here as well. And what we have to do, we have to remove that scanline error. So here I have this script in a Google Earth engine where I am able to remove this scanline error. And uh, previous image, the same image you can able to see, the scanline is here. And the same image is after scanline, you can able to see the scanline is removed. So how to do that, that we'll see today. So first is that you need to add your study area. Okay. You can able to add your shape file from here. Okay. As you'll add your shape file, then you can able to provide the name of your shape file. So I added here, that is a Doe district shape file and the name of the shape file is a geometry okay and i want to add that shape file here so map dot add layer geometry option is there so whatever the shape file you will add you need to provide a name here that is area of interest or study area the same name we need to add here after that function to fill the gaps caused by the scanline error so so this function will helpful to remove the scanline error okay so these functions smooth out pixels value by averaging them with the surrounding pixels the different scale you can able to see here that is field one field two field three represent a different level of smoothing okay so here if you'll see combine the different scales of filling to create a composite that fill the gaps okay so this unmask function will fill the missing pixels in the image using the smooth version created by this focal mean. Okay. So this will helpful for the smoothing. Okay. After that, we need to select the image. Okay. So this is the image collection. That is a Landsat 7 I have selected. And this is the date for which date I'm interested to fill this. So I have selected 2010 and so this filter bound geometry shows I want to filter the limit the image to my interest of area. Okay. My study area. Then I want a cloud free image. So I want to filter the cloud free image within a 5% cloud cover. And this fills gaps will apply the gap filling function to the selected image. And dot median will create a band color composite dot median will create a false color composite and then I want to clip with my study area. So geometry is there. After that, this visualization parameter is added here. Okay. So here we are adding the band for the visualization. Okay. So band two, band three, band four. And here and after that, I want to, after adding the visualization parameter, I want to export this image to the drive. Okay, I want to export this image to the drive. So all these seven bands I'm interested to export. And this is the folder we'll create. And this is the scale is 30 meter special resolution. And then I want to clip with my study area. And this is the maximum. If my area is large, I can able to export that large file as well. And this is the projection system is selected. So here, if you'll see this image, which is showing you scan line error. So the same image I have exported here. And once you'll click on the run, 
after you click on the run you can able to see this layer option in that i will uncheck this layer and this i will change here 4 3 2 and then i will apply and if i close it then you will be able to see that scan line is removed okay if we'll check the any part of the image you will see most of the places there is a scan line here even though if i'll zoom here okay at this portion here near water bodies there are some scan lines are there okay and after applying the function if i'll zoom the same location So you'll be able to see that uh, the places, mostly the scan line is removed. Okay. So here also you can, you can able to check for this water body near about this. So this scan line error is mostly removed. Here also you can able to check. So this way, Google Earth Engine platform will helpful for you to remove the scan line error. So if you are having any doubt regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. If you require any help with your project work, you can contact us. Details are given in the description box. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.